What's up guys? How you doing? So today we're going to play As Long As I Break Your Heart by Ruben Song made on request So uh, thank you for the request guys uh, This is an awesome song uh, Like I really like the song I never heard the singer before But this uh, the song consists of only guitar So that's very cool uh, So you can just play this with your guitar and sing Got a very soft melody uh, I like the guitar, it's so soothing So let's jump into the lesson You can just go down the chord charts below and Down in the pin comment so the keys in are A minor, so we got A minor 7, more easy than A minor chord, which is mute, 0, 2, 0, 1, 0. Then you have a C major, which is mute, 3, 2, 0, 1, 0. Then we have a G major, which is... For this song, G major, you can just play 3, 2, 0, 0, 0. Zero, zero. No need to have this. Uh, this plays three two zero zero zero. Also, the chord is three two zero 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 three. Then we have D major, which is mute mute zero two three two. And I think that's everything for this song. So before starting with the main part of the song, that is the intermediate part of the song, which is got the intro. So before starting that, just want to tell you some finger picking basics because we, this is actually really required. So let's have a look at my right hand. So my right hand, I'm using my thumb to pick the uh, bass note which may be on the top E string, top A string, top D string, doesn't matter whether it's an A chord, then we have the bass note on the A string. If we have the G chord, we have the bass note on the top string. If we have the D chord, we have the bass note on the D string. And then we are using a G string, uh, then we are using my index finger to pick the G string. My middle finger to pick the B string and ring finger to pick the high E string. That's pretty symmetrical. So please know the basic, uh, this is actually very much required. So since you know everything, let's go to the intro. But before that, you should know this. Because for this song, we are not actually strumming. We are just finger picking. So you are plucking on everything. So you can just pluck softly for each chord, like an A minus 7 or a G. See, it sounds so soothing. Now let's hop into the intro. The song structure basically we got an intro, then we have a verse, then we got a pre chorus and a chorus, and then we have a next verse, next pre chorus, chorus. And that's the structure of the song. So the first part, look at the tab, this is the main part of the song, the intro. So very short, very easy, uh, and this is actually very much required for the pre-chorus as well as for the chorus. So as the tab says, A minus 7, just plug the chord, this A string, D string, D string, B string. I told you the method how to plug it using uh, your four fingers. Now for this case, you are actually using an index finger to plug the D string and for the G string because over here we are just plugging the chord or else if we use a pinky finger or uh, if we use a ring finger to plug the high because the high string not required so we can just alternate. I hope you understand if you have any problem regarding this just read the comment below. Then you are doing a hammer on. From open to first fret on the B string, then G string open. So we got. They are playing D string open and second fret on the high E string. Then you're playing two, three, two on the high E string, then three on the B string. Then we are playing open B string with third fret on the top string. So we got. Then we have 2nd fret on the G string Then 4th fret on the G string Then we have the 3rd fret on the E string 1st fret on the B string And we are playing it together Then open G string Then 3rd fret on the B string Then open G string Then 1st fret on the B string And that's it! That's pretty much everything So take time, practice guys I'm playing slowly once more
uh, this was actually too easy for me and I really liked it uh, the melody is so easy and it sounds pretty good so this is like so now you know let's play along with the normal tempo So you got the intro, now we, let's have a look at the verse. Now for the verse, the chord progression will be A minor, 7, a G major, again a G major, then a C major, then a G major. This is the basic chord progression of the song. I don't re uh, really remember the lyrics. So we are playing A minor 7, plucking the strings, I told you the technique. So we're going A minus one, one, two, three, four, G major, one, two, three, four, again G major, one, two, three, four. Then playing our C major chord, which is one, two, three, four. The C and the G, the last C and the G is for entire one bar. So we got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's pretty easy. And that repeats for the verse. And you go to the pre-chorus. What we do is we playing the E minor. One, two, three, four. Then you go to the G major chord. Two, three, four. Then you go to the D major. So actually, you uh, don't need to know this. We are actually playing the intro for this part. So we're playing E minor seven, then a D major, then a G major, then a C, then a G. So it goes. One two three four 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 you just go with this the B chorus and then for the chorus you can just go with the intro but play it very softly And that's pretty much everything for the song guys, I hope you enjoyed this lesson, don't forget to subscribe guys, just go on to an actual face reveal, uh, a new guitar reveal, then better camera quality at 1k subs, so subscribe now, uh, I hope that you enjoyed, I told you before, uh, please like this, and I really like uh, the, some of you give some good suggestions on songs, uh, so thank you guys for watching, and keep subscribing, and take care, and bye.